What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to create cast in place and precast concrete beams. And then I'm going to show you a quick way to edit the concrete beam joints. Okay, so let's do this. So the first part is we're going to create cast in place concrete beams. So to do that, so let me go to the structure tab. And then from the structure panel, I'll be using here concrete beam this one I, I mean the structural framing beam tool the shortcut here is BM okay so just click that one and then from the properties you can change here the type of course okay so these are the available type that you will be using so like what I've said I'm gonna create a concrete beam so I will be using here uh, 450 by 600 Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that the settings here is uh, the placement plane is on uh, first floor. And then the structural usage is automatic. And then I'm going to uncheck the chain here. I just want to create one beam first. All right, and then without a tag. So if you want to put automatically the tag on the concrete beam, you just need to toggle on the tag on placement. All right, so let's do this. So for the first one, I'm going to place one here. And then I'm going to pick another point here. There you go. And then I'll just select or modify. Now I'm going to open the view tab or click the view tab. And then I'm going to select the tile views here. Okay. You can also type WT for that. So just click that one. All right. So that you'll be able to see as well the 3D view here. This one undersided concrete uh underside floor of uh, floor with beams which is uh this one so you can see what is happening on the 3d view as well all right so after we create this one so let's continue creating our concrete beam to this area here okay so let's go to the structure tab i'm gonna do that here on the tr on the floor plan view so i will select the beam tool same type 450 by 600 all right but this time i'm gonna check the chain tool all right and then let's start doing it so if you want to place the tag so let's see how it looks like so place on tag uh, tag on placement activated so let's pick here one pick another point here to see what's happening here all right and then i'm gonna pick here three there you go and then press once the scape so that it will not totally terminate the beam tool okay just press escape once there you go so you are still on the beam tool so let's uh, pick one here one okay zoom a little bit two and then pick another point here there you go and then select here modify to terminate the toes. As you can see, automatically it plays now the tags. Okay. And this is now how it looks like in the 3D view. By the way, you can also modify the justification. Let's say the Z justification of your uh, beam. <clears throat> all right. So let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the beams. So I'll click one right click and i'll be selecting here select all instances visible in view okay so it's now selected and then here on the properties there is this geometric position right so i can modify this justification okay so like for example for the z justification so currently it's on top so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make that i'm gonna show you how it looks like that if it is bottom there you go. So the justification there is bottom, but we don't need that. So let me try to show you center, center of your concrete. So it's now at the center, right? And then a while ago, it's top. So that's the top. Okay. And then this one is the origin. There you go. So that's the origin. Okay. So for this one, I'll just put it back to top, but I'm going to put here an offset value of, uh, let's say, minus 300. So, minus 300. So, it will go down and then I'll just select apply. There you go. 
Okay, so that's how you change the geometric position of your concrete beam. Now, the next thing that we will be doing here is we're going to create a precast concrete beams. So going back to my uh, 3D view, let me just arrange this one to this angle. Okay, so let me go back to the 3D view and then uncheck here the section box to show the whole 3D view. All right. Okay, so here on the floor plan, so we are now going to create our precast concrete beams here. All right, so let's do this. So from the structure beam again. So from the properties, I'm going to make select on the precast rectangular beam. I'm going to click here, uh, 300 RB 600. So just click that one. There you go. All right, and then after that, I'm going to uncheck now the chain tool here, and then I'm going to toggle off the tag on placement. All right. Okay, so let's place it. So using the line tool, that's the type. So I'm going to pick here on, on this face. Click. And then I'm going to click here. There you go. Okay, or you can also create that all the way to uh, B.7. Okay, you can do that as well. So let me select modify here. Click this and delete. So let's create the beam again. And then let's click the right face of this wall. Okay, and then I'm going to pick until uh, B.7, one grid intersection. There you go. Okay. Right, and then after that, I'm going to pick another point here, this intersection, and then I'm going to pick here all the way. There you go. And then I'll just select your modify. Okay, that's it. Okay, now for this one, I'm going to show you how to change the joints here. Okay, so let's say I do not want to have this kind of join, this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here the modify. And then from the geometry panel, I'll just select here beam column joins. So just click this one. And then you can see there are, there are this arrow that will going to be appear that you can modify. So as you can see, when you are editing the concrete uh, beam joins, you can remove the cut back. You see this one? So you can click that. So as you can see, it's now to remove the cut back from the left. You just need to click that arrow. So notice that the arrow control reverses, indicating no cut back from the or for the beam. And the beam now extends to the wall. So you can just click that arrow, that one. Okay. Now, so how about this one here? So I'm going to click this arrow like that. So this is now how it looks like. Then I'm going to click this again, this arrow, and then I'm going to click this arrow as well. And this is the join that I like for this one. Okay. So that's how you modify it. Now we are still on the tool. So you just need to select modify to terminate it. There you go. Okay. So basically, this is a basic way of creating your uh, concrete beams and uh, precast beam. And then that's how you modify it. All right. So this is now how it looks like. Okay. So there you go. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.